speaker, Jay Wiki, two inches, twenty inches, two inches, twenty inches, Jay Wiki. I was driving back from work and stopped at a traffic light. As I looked right, I saw a suspicious man wandering by the roadside. Suddenly, he looks back at me and walked towards me. Now it was 11 p.m., no street light, no other car, and a suspicious man is walking towards me. I locked my door, grabbed my baseball bat, trying to remember my Taekwondo classes. He was getting closer and closer and closer and... Now, should I open my window? Yes. <laughs> well, I did. Two inches. What do you want? Excuse me, sir. Could you help me out? I... Hang on. Help him out? Does he want money? What if he is lying? I'm sorry. I shut my window and drove away. Contest Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, in today's crazy world, don't you find it hard to trust almost anyone? So a few months later, I watched a late night horror movie alone in Sunway Pyramid. It was a bad idea. <laughs> At 2 a.m., <clears throat> the mall was empty. Lights were off. And I just watched a horror movie. So I got really fast to the auto pay machine, wanted to leave as soon as possible. I reached for my wallet. Oh dear, I've used all my cash for ticket and popcorn. I took out my phone, just to see it shuts down by itself. I looked all around, but there wasn't anyone. But there was a strange voice that goes something like this. Please insert your parking ticket. Please insert your parking ticket. Now, at this time, I was really panicked. What am I supposed to do? Am I going to stay overnight here? What if there are robbers? Or what if there are ghosts? So I endlessly walked all over the car park, hoping to find any staff or any security guard. But after one hour, I still couldn't find anyone. And that was the first time I felt so stranded, desperate, and scared. And just when I was about to give up, a car was driving towards the exit. I ran towards the car, stood by his side, and knocked his window. Now at 2 a.m., no light, no other car, and a man is knocking your window. <laughs> Will you open your window? <laughs> that driver opened his window. What do you want? I'm sorry, excuse me sir, could you help me out? I'm out of cash and I can't pay for the parking ticket. He reached for his wallet, took a five ringgit and gave it to me. I almost cried. I offered to pay him back but all he said was, it's fine, you can just have it. Five ringgit is not a lot, but it meant a lot to me. That night, that driver did not just open his window, not for two inches, but 20. He also opened the window of my heart. If he was worried that I'm going to take advantage on him, I would have stuck in the mall for the entire night. That reminds me of the man whom I shut my windows against. He said he needed help. He could be as desperate as I was. Why didn't I let him finish? And several months later, I was driving to lunch. To my surprise, I saw the same man in the same traffic light, and he did the same thing. Walking under the hot sun, from one car to another. As I look carefully, I realize he's actually quite old. And all he ever wanted was to sell some tissue 
for his living. But no one opened their window. When he was about to leave, one window opened. And a hand came out with a 10 ringgit note. The old man was so happy, shook his hand until the traffic light turns green. That hand was my hand. As I drove away, my tears dropped. It was the tear of happiness for being able to right my wrong. Now he was selling for five ringgit, but I gave him ten. Because another five ringgit is for what my humanity owes him that night. Ten ringgit is not a lot, but it meant a lot to him. Ladies and gentlemen, how often do you feel fearful to help people? Your colleagues, your friends, or the strangers you just met. Our fear of being taken advantage is very often greater than our will to help. But what if? What if that person genuinely needed your help? Like the old man, like me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you open your window to someone, it doesn't stop there. They too will open their window to someone else. And we will all live in a world where windows are always open for each other. Isn't that the world we all want to live in? In the end of the day, when we need help, we too will wish people to open the window. Not two inches, but 20.